Welcome to our Tech Explainer video. Today, we're tackling a question that many developers encounter when working with SWIG-generated objects in .NET. Our viewer asks, do I need to dispose of SWIG-generated objects? Let's break down the question. Our viewer is using a library built with SWIG, but the documentation is unclear about whether any of the generated classes require disposal. They've noticed discussions online about disposing of child elements, yet the sample projects don't demonstrate any disposal practices. So, the big question is, for the average SWIG object, can they rely on the garbage collector, or do they need to implement their own disposal logic? Welcome to another tech video. Today we're going to be going through your question, answering it, and hopefully finding that solution for you. Guys, remember to stay a little bit crazy, like me, and hopefully get to that resolution. Now, let's continue on to that video. When using SWIG generated objects in .NET, it's important to understand how memory management works. SWIG typically generates wrappers around C++ classes, and these wrappers often have default destructors. In most cases, these destructors will handle the cleanup of the underlying C++ objects. This means that you may not need to explicitly dispose of these objects, as the garbage collector in .NET can manage them. However, there are exceptions. If your SWIG-generated objects contain child elements or resources that require explicit disposal, you should implement the iDisposable interface and provide a dispose method. To summarize, for the average SWIG object, you can generally rely on the garbage collector, but always check the documentation and be cautious with complex object hierarchies. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. In most cases, you don't need to manually dispose of SWIG-generated objects as they have proper finalizers. However, if the dispose function is incorrectly defined, manual disposal won't help. There are situations where manual disposal can be useful especially when dealing with lists and their items. For example, if a list is garbage collected while its items are still in use, it can lead to errors. To prevent issues, you can use gc.keepalive to keep the list alive or implement the ID disposable pattern for deterministic disposal. This ensures safe and clear usage of unmanaged objects. So while manual disposal isn't strictly necessary, it can enhance safety and clarity when working with unmanaged objects. And that's it. I hope that that's helped find the solution that you're looking for. And if it did, please, I'd appreciate it if you hit the subscribe button. Every time you hit it, it really helps. Now, I'll see you next time. Next time you need some technical help. And until then, have a good one.